So what's going on guys? I am in the hive that survived the winter. Um, <clears throat> in the last video I told you guys about how what I did is I took away the queen and I have her in a nuke over there, right there. So what I'm doing is it's been five days. So I'm going through here and I did a notching method. So I'm going through these and I'm taking out um, the extra queen cells and I'm gonna put them in this nuke. And then we're gonna go over and check and see if that queen came back and has mated over across the creek because it's been 21 days. So you can see all the queen cells on here. There's one there, there, there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Just on this side. And then there's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So 11 them on this frame. So all the ones that are smaller, I'm gonna call them because I don't want a ton of queens hatching out. Now the reason is if you have a bunch of them hatching out, they're just gonna fight. And I don't want that. So some bigger ones on this side, so I'm definitely leaving those. Alright, so we left three of them. Now I'm going to give them this frame. Sorry, the lighting's bad. I should switch you guys. This one's full of pollen and some honey. Oh, wow. Look at the queen cells on there already. Let me move you guys. So I'm gonna put this frame in there because of all the queen cells. this frame here has a couple of cups on that side it has one on this side it has three four on this side five six down here I wrecked the top ones and I'm going to leave those two bottom ones because they're really big and they already are capped. So now I'm going to put this thing back together. I need more height or I need more frames. The frame right here has an X on it. This one also has a queen cup on it, a really big one, because I did the OTS on here. Let's see if we can get them a frame of honey. This one's full of nectar, so we'll give them this one. Place it with that one. Okay, so some of you are like, what the heck are you doing? You have two frames of a, a whole bunch of queen cells on there. Right, absolutely. Um, what I'm gonna do is make another split. So to do that, I need to go over there to that side and use those colonies, because I want this one to produce honey, so I don't want to take any more out of this one. Uh, uh, it's hot, it's been like 90s, all upper 90s this whole last couple weeks, and no rain. Let me inform you quick. This hive over here, I found a couple of maggots in there. I went in there and they're either wax moths or they're maggots eating the old dead bees. 
because they're only coming out of the cap cells and there was only a couple of them and it was in the side that I had back boxed off. So I took it, scraped it all out, and then I put the frames in. That one was big enough to open up the other side. So I took the middle divider out. You can see it's sitting on top yet. I took one frame of a lot of brood, shook the bees off, and I put that in there to give it a boost. And yeah, so that's what I did this morning. So now let's go over there and get these splits done. Putting bee castle to work. I'm gonna put that one frame in the center. I put that nuke over there underneath the pine tree. Last time I did that, we had really good um, mating flights. So I'm gonna switch this frame with that one, put that one in here, go over there. And my goal is if that one's mated, I'm gonna mark her, put that, put those bees in this box, and then I'm gonna take that nuke over there and make another split with those other hives. I know it's a lot. I'll try to do my best to keep you updated. <laughs> oh man. I'm not gonna smoke them. They seem pretty calm. All right, we got eggs. It means we have a queen. There she is. Right there. Oh no. I need a white pen. It's not blue for this year. Well, I haven't marked. I have to remark her. All right, being a have her though. All right, so now all the foragers should come back to this one. There, another split done. Whew. They should be okay, because as you can tell, there is a nectar flow. Well, at least on my property, because I'm watering everything. Ugh, it is hot. 
So this was kind of a smaller split, but that's okay because the nights are pretty warm yet. Like in the 70s, <laughs> mid 70s, so we're all right. Now this one, they were doing great. So I, what I did is I, making them build faster, and how I did that is I went every other frame because they're gonna go to there and they're gonna fill it out for the queen. So, and I have to mark her, but I'm probably gonna wait a week because I don't wanna disturb her too much. So I gotta mark her white. And then I also put grass in front of the entrance. So then the foragers that are gonna go out, they know that this is their home. All right, any mini, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. <laughs> I gotta pull some brood from one of these to make that other split stronger. So I need one good frame. I also forgot to tell you, I put two deeps on these. And this one, I didn't pull any frames up from the bottom. And as you can tell, they're not doing anything. So I'm gonna open up this, look at the brood, see if I can get a good frame out of them. And I'm gonna pull one up so they all come up. And this was a new frame. See how they didn't even build out that side yet? So let's put that one up top. You know, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna take the other frame out of there because this one's doing so well. I'm gonna try doing every other. See the baskets on their legs? Oh, there you are. Forgot to turn you back on. Here's some drone brood, I've cracked it. And there was no mites in there, so that's a good sign. In between the boxes. See, that's what we're looking for. Oh, there's the queen too. She is the good queen. This one will work. Send her off to the side. All right, so I'm gonna take that frame and put it over in the nuke over there. And I gotta bring one frame back and put it in here. So let's go put that one away. Well, I got my exercise in for the morning. All right, I put some sticks and stuff in front of the entrance. Now they won't go back home because I'm only over in my yard. That's it. I'm gonna walk back over there, put this frame in, mow the lawn, and get inside for the hot day. <laughs> oh, what a morning. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hives. If they all come back mated, that is. Wow. So I have seven hives already that are have queens. And then I have two nukes. Cool. That's awesome. Well, hope you guys liked the video. I gotta go for a walk again. Put this over there. So, until next time. <laughs> Glad you got to see me. <laughs>